How's it going everyone? In this video I'm going to show you guys how to replace your oil pump slash oil pickup tube gasket. That's this guy right here with the uh, red clip holding the gasket. The uh, part number is right here 5589549 and this is on the 2014-2015 diesel Chevy Cruze. So I'm going to go down below and I'll show you how to remove the oil pan to get access to this gasket. Alright, so here we are under the car right here. Just to give you a reference point, this is the oil drain plug. If you follow that over, you've got your block heater. And then right here and right here are two rubber plugs. You're going to want to put a flathead on the flat side and kind of just push that up all the way through because you can see it kind of adheres to the uh, steel plate up in there. So that'll kind of break it loose. And then I would grab a pair of pliers and just kind of grab those out. So once the plugs are out, up inside there are two bolts that are different from the rest. So these are a T40 right here those are going to be up inside you're going to need a special tool for that so it's a T40 but it's about six inches long gear wrench makes one I didn't realize that I needed a long uh, T40 when I started this job so I just had to make what I have work and what I have to work with is I've got a quarter inch ratchet with a snap-on uh, locking quarter drive. The reason I have the locking to do this is because it's such a tight tolerance up inside that I didn't want to put it up in there and then on the way out lose the socket up inside there. And then I have a obviously T40 bit that I put up in there to pull that out. So. You don't need quite six inches, but uh, to get past this oil pan when you ratchet, that's why you need the six inches. So once you get those two out, you're gonna need a T50. So this isn't true, too critical. Um, you can just use the stubby ones. So again, that's a T50, and then these are T40. So, um, Gear Wrench sells a long T40. It's on Amazon. I think it's like 17 bucks, but it takes like five days to ship it. So, you're going to want to order that ahead of time. So, I'm going to work on uh, getting some of these bolts out, and I'll show you which, which ones you have to remove. Obviously, the oil pan, um, the block heater is going to have to be removed. Um, or just pull, pulled out of the way and then I already drained the oil and then keep in mind in this video um, I removed my uh, oil filter bowl and oil cooler assembly but that's only because I just replaced the gaskets and everything so you do not need to remove that assembly like 100% you don't need to remove that assembly way too much work it's only removed because I was doing something else. So first things first, I'm going to start working on the block heater. That right there is a 15 millimeter. And then you're going to start pulling off these bolts that go around. I'm guessing uh, it's like a drive shaft. So pull off those drive shaft bolts I believe there's three of them don't quote me on that but I'm gonna start pulling those off all right so I left off with I was gonna pull these bolts out there's one here there's one up top up top in that corner and then there's also one right next to the flexible exhaust right there in order to get that one you can't use a socket you're gonna have to use a 15 millimeter wrench. So you're gonna reach around here with the wrench 
And then on the open end side, you're going to loosen that. And then <clears throat> right up here, this is a 13 millimeter wrench. You're going to pull off each one of each one of those. So there's one there, one there, and then one up top. So three and a triangle, and that's right near the one that's hard to get to with the 15 millimeter wrench. So again, those are 13 millimeter. You're gonna need a wrench for those. So a quick update. I got the uh, three bolts out, that one, that one, and that one up top. The one up top, it might be a little bit biased, uh, because I already have, or I shouldn't say I already, already have, but I removed my oil cooler for another job, which I told you earlier. So I have a lot better access to that upper bolt because there's nothing in this area. All I have is the, the oil catch uh, for the oil filter. That's the only thing that's really in my way. Um, so you guys are probably gonna have a little bit less swing, but I still think that you'll be able to pull that upper bolt out. So once you get that off, um, you can start to split these two and then you should be able to get that bolt the rest of the way out once you split these two. So I'll come back and let you know. All right, so long story short, this bolt right here, you can remove that once you split the two halves. You've kind of got to just tuck this bottom piece out and then uh, you'll get enough room to get that bolt out. So the biggest trouble here is getting these two split apart, at least it was for me. So what I ended up doing is getting a hammer and then a smaller flathead and then beating the screwdriver up through the two halves and then on the back side closest to the oil pan. Um, you kind of got to wedge this exhaust out of the way and then you can punch the screwdriver up through the other half and then it split pretty nice for me. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is, I already pulled mine back, but you can take a small flathead and kind of pop it between here and the yellow plastic, and then pop that back. And then I'm gonna pull that plug off of there. And then uh, we'll see where that leads us. Okay, so this screw right here, it's hard to kind of see that. I took a picture of it and I tried to figure out with about a million different uh, tool sockets, star bits, torques, whatever, everything. I couldn't figure out what size it was and I'm pretty sure it was just corroded so bad that there wasn't really anything. So with that being said, I actually ended up drilling mine out. So if you have to do the same, I'll show you where to grab a uh, similar bolt um, on the top of the engine. That way you can drive to the hardware store once your car is up and running and go grab a replacement bolt. So I'll show you one that is very similar. So on the top of the engine right here is a very similar bolt. So same length basically and this one is uh, a 10 millimeter so you can see they're basically identical just one's 10 millimeter and the other one is unknown so if you run into that same problem there you go and the next thing I'm going to be pulling down is the exhaust so there's just three bolts at the flange and they're 13 millimeter all right so finally now that the exhaust is down um, this is fairly easy. Uh, just a T50. I'm going to start pulling out the pan bolts. Okay, so the troublesome bracket uh, that was hard to separate, for me at least, um, there is a T50 back there. 
you can see there's a channel right there. That's where you need to uh, get your extension up through there. The problem is, is that. So in order to move that out of the way, we're gonna have to pull off this nut and this nut that go to the exhaust dampeners and then hopefully we can shift it left or right and that'll give us enough room upstream. So I obviously recommend that you guys try and get that uh, T50 bolt first because it's the most pain in the ass one it seems. So yeah, get that one first. Alright, so you're going to want to move the exhaust. Uh, when you did have it over to the left when you pulled out that bolt, now move it over to the right. And you're going to want to take this piece right here. And you're going to want to pull it so that the boot comes back on itself. And then right inside here is another bolt. So I'll show you that really quick. So right up there, and then you should be able to just pry this out of the way and get that one right there. Alright, so there is a 11 millimeter bolt that's right here, so don't forget that one. And then uh, I'm not sure if they needed removed, but these are... Uh, 14 millimeter and there's two of them there's one there and then there's one up on the back side identical to this one so I already pulled the pan down um, breaking the pan loose because it's held down by all the uh, the gasket sealant material around the pan it was a pain in the ass let me tell you. So, let's see here. Um, yeah, you just kind of got to work at it for like an hour or two. And it'll break loose. All the bolts um, that come around here, that's basically all that holds it other than this, which is, again, the 11 millimeter. Um... As far as how to get the pan down, once you it starts shaking and it's like floating in the hole and you still can't get it out, um, you've kind of got to take a flathead and come in and bend these corners in just a little bit. Uh, the reason is, is that pan has to, this, this uh, lip needs to get behind the pan, so does that one. And then it'll pop down. And then in order to get the actual pan down the rest of the way, there's a compressor bracket uh, right here. So compressor, compressor bracket, just lift the engine up using the compressor bracket, I don't know, maybe four or five inches until you can maneuver the pan down. Um, you'll get it at an angle like this. And then um, <clears throat> look inside where your gasket the whole reason we're pulling the pan down, um, look at that and you'll see what's left to get the rest of the pan off. And what I found is I angled the pan 45 degrees to the driver's side corner and it ended up popping down. So that's going to conclude this video. It was a pain in the ass. So I've got the oil pan up. Uh, if you don't want to get any of your fresh sealant from around the oil pan on your new oil pump seal, um, disconnect your delete pipe or, um, yeah, I guess if you have a DPF, you're kind of screwed. But, uh, yeah, just... 
go up top and disconnect that either heat shroud or if you don't have a heat shroud then disconnect just that single guy right there and it'll it'll loosen up